Hi, boys and girls. We just got done in my other video talking a little bit about what good readers can do while they're reading a story or before they start to read a story. So you can use your good reader strategies to make predictions and then check those throughout the story. If I was going to make a prediction about this story, a bird named Fern, right away I could use that title to help me with some of my good guesses. I also could look at my illustration here. Wow, that is a beautiful picture. So that could help me also to make some good guesses, some good predictions before I start to read. When I look at this title, A Bird Named Fern, right away I might think, oh, you know what? I know that this is about a bird named Fern. But I see one, two, three, four, five, six birds here. I really don't know which one Fern is. So take a good guess at home of which bird you think Fern might be. Now, this is a fantasy story. So that's what genre of our story we're going to be looking at today. Can birds have names and do they live just like real people? Well, we can have some birds as pets, but you're going to see a lot of things in this fantasy story that could not happen in real life. That's what makes it a fantasy story. We're also going to be making sense of that big world around us and our big idea, but also thinking about our essential question. What can you see in the sky? You're going to be reading about how this little bird named Fern is learning all about clouds. So that might help you to make another prediction. Also, another job that I have for you, you need so many different jobs today. I want you to try to see if you can be a detective and find those er, er, er words that are spelled with I-R and E-R and U-R. When you think of the er sound, we like to do some actions when we do some of our sounds. Er would be like a bird. Er, er, er. Can you try that with me? Er, er, er. So let's go ahead and read a bird named Fern. And you see already Fern has an er sound in it and bird has an er sound in it. Now, before we start, this is something I thought you might be a little bit confused about. If you know some things about plants, a bird here is named fern, but a plant, a type of plant is also a fern. And that can sometimes be a plant you might have inside or outside. So that's going to be an important word for us to have learned or to know this week, fern. So let's go ahead and get with the story and read about a bird named fern. Make your predictions. Ooh, now we know who Fern is. Little Fern was always full of questions. She wanted to know about everything in the world. One day, Fern saw something up in the sky. What is that big white boat doing in the sky? She asked herself. I want to find out. See if you can make any predictions or good guesses about what she might do now that we know who Fern is. It would be great to ride on that big white boat, Fern said. So she stretched her wings and took off. Fern's wings helped her climb up, up, up. But when she got close to the boat, she was surprised. The boat looked like a fluffy bed. Check your predictions and see if you were right. It's okay if you're not right. Good readers sometimes don't make the correct predictions. Fern was sleepy and wanted to rest. So she leaped on the bed, but she fell right through it. So if you made a prediction there that she might take, have taken a nap on that little pillow, you might not have been right because it looks like she just fell right through that cloud. I see another bed, said Fern. I will try to land on that one. 
But the same thing happened again. I'd better go home, cried Fern. Maybe Mom and Dad can explain this. Now she's having some problems here. This is a problem in the story. And she's a little bit confused. So she's going home to ask her mom and dad, birds, about what they think this problem might be all about. She's very sad. This also makes it a fantasy because usually birds don't go home and talk to their mom and dad birds, right? Make a prediction about what you think they might say. So Fern began to fly home. As she did, the beds turned dark gray. Then it started to rain. Poor Fern was soaked when she got home. Where were you? asked mom and dad. Fern told them all about her trip. First, we will dry you off, said mom. Then we will teach you about clouds, added dad. And that is what they did. So if you guess that maybe her parents would help her and teach her all about clouds at the end of the story, then you had a correct prediction. Here's a little connection. It says, what did the clouds look like to Fern? So maybe you want to think about those different things that you see in the sky. Now you can also tell someone at home the story and do some retelling and talk about what happens at the beginning of the story and some of those key details that happen in the middle and then also what happens at the end of the story. That's what good readers do. They can also do some retelling. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you were able to really go and look and spy some of those er, er, er sounds with the I, R, E, R, and U, R. Have fun rereading it.